What is up Jack and Nerdy fans? Welcome to another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the Mark 1 Ultron from Avengers Age of Ultron. This figure is brought to us by the good people at Hot Toys, so it's bound to be really really good. I've been wanting to do this unboxing for quite a long time, but before we start that unboxing, just a little housekeeping as always. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on a video. And if you do enjoy the videos that we keep putting out, make sure you give them a thumbs up. That way that lets us know that you guys enjoy our content and it encourages us to keep going. So with that out of the way, let's get stuck into it. The Mark I Age of Ultron Hot Toys. As always, Hot Toys put a lot of effort and detail into their boxes and packaging. And as always, they haven't disappointed with this one. They've got a really nice little image on the front there of the, uh, I suppose, the half-destroyed Legion armor that would eventually become the Mark I of Ultron. As we slide this off... We have our little window pane there, which gives us a little bit of an image of what's in store for us. But look, let's get them out and let's see for ourselves how much detail they put into this. As I said, I've been a big fan of these figures for a long time and they never cease to disappoint. Oh, sorry, they never disappoint, I should say. <laughs> Um, with their quality of figures so straight away what have we got here so they've got a torso of the destroyed legion armor that was created by tony stark so let's see if we can open him up and get a closer look there we go the attention to detail on these figures is absolutely outstanding, as always. Look at that. So you can see on there all the battle damage, the scratches on the helmet, the burns on the torso. So this is just a nice little accessory piece that they've thrown in with the Ultron figure. And look on the back there. Again, the attention to detail you can see for yourself there is just absolutely incredible and second to none. This is just what I've come to expect from the good people at Hot Toys. Um, as I said, they've never really disappointed me in terms of the overall quality. Um, sometimes they may release a figure that just uh, doesn't have as much in the way of accessories or there might be a small defect with the figure but they always put so much attention into the detail of their figures this one here so it looks like this one is, doesn't come with a lot of accessories but that being said when it comes to Ultron he didn't have a lot of accessories if you can think back to the original movie um, especially when he first came into being and he was in the Mark 1 phase. So let's get the protective plastic off and let's see how we fare. Okay. So I'm going to need a little tool here to get some of the plastic off. So bear with me. sure I cut the plastic and not the figure. There we go. Now if you remember, Ultron was voiced by the fabulous actor James Spader. I only wish sometimes these figures came with voice overs or voice commands <laughs> just to make it that little bit extra Actually, what I'll do, here we go, if you just keep an eye on that, just, here we go. Alright. Again, 
again, I want to make sure I cut the plastic and not the figure because there's lots of little wires and things on this figure. Here we go. Here we go. They've done a good job. Here we go. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm not going to take the leg ones off uh, in this video, but I will post images on my Instagram if you want to have a closer look. But the attention to detail on this is just absolutely incredible. So it's just looking at the head. So you've got all the destruction, the acid burns, the the scrapes, the everything on there. You've got the burning of the chest plate, the oil stains, everything on there. Then, as you would also expect though, you've got all of these little wires and cables and everything else hanging out of it from all the battle damage. You know, obviously he's missing an arm, all that. The, the, level, of, like, the level of detail on this is something that you know I would put on par with something that you would expect if you were looking at an action figure of a Terminator or something to that effect. Um, you know, you've got all the kind of the hydraulics, the the power cables, the wires, everything on there. They've really done a fantastic job with this. So. What else have we got here? So as I said, it doesn't really come with much in the way of accessories. They've got here some batteries. So obviously it's got light up features in the eyes, the chest, you know, arc reactors, things like that, which you would expect with a typical Iron Man suit. Um, so they've, they've, but apart from that, they are, it doesn't come with rockets. It doesn't come with lasers. It doesn't come with any type of weaponry um, because as was natural, in Age of Ultron, when he first uh, became sentient, he didn't have any of that sort of stuff. So really, this is just a really, really good example where they haven't added accessories for the sake of adding accessories. Um, they've just given you the bare bones figure as it would have appeared uh, based in the movie, which is absolutely fantastic. And as always, they've given you the base plate there. Whoop with very very simple they just put age of ultron mark one on there so that when you set that up in your collection you can sit there very proud amongst all your other avengers figures or villains depending on where you put him but really there's not much more for me to say about this figure except for the fact that i am super impressed with the level of detail that they've put into this they haven't gone over the top by trying to make it flashy or throwing things in that you don't necessarily need or just putting things in there for the sake of. Um, they've kept it very bare bones, excuse the pun, um, but I love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. This will take a, a prominent position in my collection. Uh, along, I'll, I'll probably position him along with all the other Avengers villains that have uh, been uh, adapted into action figures over the last couple of years based off of the movies. So he will sit in there along with obviously like Loki. Um, if I ever get a um, Thanos or something to that effect, you know, I'll have them all sitting in there together, all the villains all on their own shelf. And this one will take a very, very prominent position in that collection. So let me know what you guys think. Have you got one of these in your collection? Or is this something that you would consider adding to your collection? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also, if there's uh, any other figures that we haven't done an unboxing video of yet that you would like to see us do, make sure you reach out to us and let us know. We'll do our best to try and make it happen. We're always looking for input and ideas. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before as well, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up. Then that encourages us to keep going and lets us know that you enjoy our content. So with that being said, until next time, guys, stay jacked and stay nerdy.